Welcome to Radar System course. Today we see a radar receiver, their noise figure. And we have seen earlier that a noise figure when your network is a cascaded. That noise figure is depending upon a gain of the cascaded network. Then uh, we will see here what will be the noise figure due to the RF losses. So we need to know about a noise figure here due to the RF losses. So generally a noise figure we are writing F and that will be a n out divided by k p0 that is a noise bandwidth and a, a gain so now for a losses any losses in the rf or we can say that at a receiver front end so any losses present so that will decreasing the overall noise figure. So in general, if you consider that if a noise figure is low, then we need to re require a low transmitted power. But this low noise figure resulted from the losses occurs in the RF portion. Okay, so now we will see that what are those losses and why these losses are occur in a receiver. And that losses occurs in a receiver front end because of a transmission line because we have an antenna from the antenna then there may be for, for receiver front end from antenna to the receiver front end there will be the transmission line. Then there may be a duplexer or a junction or a, a joint or there may be a filter, there may be monitoring devices or any other losses that occurs in the your receiver. And that losses are nothing but what used to obtain the a noise figure. So what will be the noise figure in present of those losses? So due to that particular losses, RF losses, how to calculate or how to derive a noise figure? So this one is just a equation of a noise figure. We need to find out what are the various losses in terms of it or in presence of the RF. Thing. So n out is nothing but what that is the output noise power due to the RF losses component and that n out generally we say that across the network it will be nothing but kt0 a bn and the gain we say here for the RF losses we can represent or we can replace with respect to the whatever the loss is present. So we can say that instead of a G, we can use a L R F that will be the losses due to the RF here. So therefore, we can rewrite the noise figure equation or what will be the overall noise figure of a device due to the RF losses. So we know that a noise figure due to the a losses, RF losses. So we can replace that FL is equal to what? 1 by FL is equal to LRF. Okay, G is equal to 1 by RF. So FL, that is about a noise figure due to the RF losses will be FL is equal to LRF. And noise figure of the receiver 
that will be a overall noise figure if you write the overall noise figure generally we can write f and that is about the first network then f2 minus 1 the second network and their noise figure noise value okay and a g1 is about the gain of this first network first component of the rfx one so we say that we have a two different cascading networks so every network it has the f1 g1 as well as the b b n is a constant for all so f2 g2 like this so f1 is a nice figure of network 1 nice figure of network 2 that is f2 gain of network 1 g1 gain of network 2 that will be a, a g2 here so overall nice figure so we can write f1 here so instead of that f1 we can replace with the lrf because we say that a nice figure f1 there for the given network or a given component we can replace with a loss now so instead of f1 we can write here a lrf and lrf plus we have the f2 f2 will be replaced with what what will be the value at a receiver now so total noise figure of a receiver with a noise so that will be what a fr here so f2 will be replaced by fr and with a whatever the g1 here that will be of 1 by lrf okay g1 will be what 1 by lrf so we instead of that 1 by lrf we write here a lrf so if you put here solid so we are getting that a noise figure of a receiver that is fr with a value of a lrf that will be the noise figure due to the rf losses okay so we are getting that a overall noise figure it will be depending upon the a noise figure of a receiver with a noise figure fr that is fr here and then we have a rf losses that will be equal to the a lrf here okay so we can write that losses lrf here and so we will get that overall noise figure will be fr plus lrf so that will be the noise figure due to the rf losses this equation we can say that we can rewrite here so this equation becomes the noise figure in a nice figure due to the rf losses so now we consider a system or a receiver and at a receiver there should be a minimum loss so we can say that whatever the components we are using in a receiver they have the low noise so we can say that in another word low noise front ends we need to be used so what are the front end components present in a receiver so if we see that there is an antenna then a transmission line okay after that we have a junction then a mixer and then if and then amplifier okay now these are the components so if we are using a super heterodyne type receiver then components are likewise antenna joint junction mixer local oscillator then if if we are not using super heterodyne type structure so then we need to use the amplifier because signal is to be amplified whatever the receiver signal we are receiving that echo it has a low value so we need to use the amplifier so whichever the amplifiers we are using after the antenna so so if, if it is not a super heterodyne we need to amplify the whatever the signal echo signal okay so likewise we have to use the amplifier here so now those amplifier means this one is about a, a front end of a receiver or if it is a super heterodyne then we have a mixer then a local oscillator and then a IF. okay 
Now, whatever the front end components we are using in a receiver, they should have a low noise step. So now, what are those components we are using? If if it is a super heterodyne, then mixer, IF. If it is not a super heterodyne, then amplifier directly, then display devices. Okay. So then after that, it is to be a display one, display devices. Okay, it will go to the a display one. Now, what are those components? Okay, so whatever the signals we consider for the transmission. But here some joint because we are using a single antenna or same antenna for the transmitter. So that's why there is a junction. So at this particular junction, what will be the input level here? Okay, at the given particular junction. What will be the input signal level and what components we are using? Suppose here we are using a duplexer. So the, that means circulator or a magic T. So that devices has to be a low loss. Then a mixer. Then these devices have to be a low noise, low loss. Similarly for the amplifier, low noise and because a transmitter we are using signal so sometimes what happens that transmitter may transmit the signal toward this particular component okay leakage sometimes because in a radar what happens on and off of a transmitter is takes place so in between that on and off pulses so what will be the duration so in the given particular duration when transmitter is on receiver is to be off when transmitter is to be off, transmitter is off, then receiver is to be on. So likewise, so what will be the duration between that on and off of those devices? When we are making it on transmitter, so automatically at that switching on, the pulse will generate it and that, that pulse is nothing but a noise that may be leakage or we can say that leakage that may be propagated to the devices. So devices at a receiver. So that devices or the component present in this receiver blocks, they may damage them. So we need to use a devices in such a way that that devices should not be damaged at a leakage voltage or a leakage pulse or at a time of a transmitting. So if it is a super heterodyne structure, this may be the damage mixer if it is not super heterodyne then amplifier may damage so like so we have those components so every component will be damaged so we consider that a low noise front end devices and that devices will have a lowest receiving signal okay and then because of that, your devices may not damage because high pulse will come from the transmitter will damage. So if it is a low pulse, so maybe receiver will not damage. So what will be the standing ability of those devices present in a receiver? So that is to be considered. And based on that, we can find out. So what will be the noise figure means temperature and what that devices will work within a which particular band of frequency. So we are expecting a narrow band of frequency, okay, or, or which our devices. So if it is of a broadband, so then there will be the noise will come in a picture then. So we need to know about what will be the noise figure here. If there will be the lower the noise figure of this receiver, so we need a less power as well as that aperture of that antenna is to be smaller. So means we are reducing the size of that antenna as well as the reducing the size of a transmitter. Because for the low power transmitter, so devices will be different. For the high power transmitter, devices will be different. For a low power transmitter, solid state devices we are using. So in that case, if the devices amplifier we have, so if we can use a solid state amplifier, parametric amplifier, 
so they may damage within the particular period of its power okay so that is to be take care of. and if your transmitter will be high power then so not naturally they may be they may damage the your receiver component here. so limitations here using a low noise front end that will related to the band that beam bandwidth we supposed to say as well as the limitations with regarding the sensitivity here okay so generally we say that a low noise devices they have the large dynamic range so dynamic range is nothing but what that a device is or a system will detect a smallest level of a signal okay means a device is able to receive the lowest echo signal okay as well as that device is able to receive the maximum signal so that's why we can say that a dynamic range of the receiver so it will receive the maximum signal it will detect the maximum signal as well as the smallest signal there so that is nothing but the a dynamic range of the device so signal low noise devices if we are using so they have the large dynamic range and that large dynamic range we can say that there may be the a component we are using at a mixer even if there is a large dynamic range so they should have the wide bandwidth or in our band so we need to talk about the bandwidth again for the specific application if it is a super infrared in one so we need to so see that what will be the narrow bandwidth okay so likewise so we can say that a receiver is able to handle the large power as well as the small signal and that the receiver is able to detect the maximum level of the signal as well as the lowest level of the signal so that dynamic range can be vary based on the whatever the component we are using if we are using a mixer front end so then a dynamic range may be reduced there okay so that is about we can say that radar receiver and their component so next we see that so what are the display devices we are using in the receiver okay so there are the various display so you can say that various display now so that's why display now so that display is useful to represent that target is present within a given particular range of a radar there so that echo signal information received at a receiver and that echo signal will provide you the information regarding the target and that device is connected to the a receiver here okay so means we can say that we have a antenna then we can say that a mixer okay so then local oscillator we have a if here okay forget about the filter we are supposed to be use here okay so forget about the component additional component now we can say that a display here now this display devices the signal we are getting here that will be the video signal and that display devices will display the whatever the information about the target okay so we have the antenna so antenna receive the signal this one is about the echo signal so then display devices display the whatever the information of the a target so target information in terms of a range in terms of a angle that angle is nothing but what a elevation and a azimuth here so means we have the flexibility in a display devices 
so it can be display only the range or it can be display the angle okay so it can be display the whatever the speed of those particular target there so there are the various kinds of a devices that will be used in a radar receiver so the display devices may be a black and white may be a color may be lcd type likewise so various types of devices we are using and that information that we are getting that will be processed here in the display devices okay so because detector is there and that or a processor is there display processor is there so it will convert that video information okay that raw data and that that will be useful for the projecting a video information of the target as well as the whatever the range okay that we have so mostly people are using a cathode ray tube to display the information of the a target there so there are two types of a crt generally used in a radar one is about a deflection type we can say that a deflection modulated crt okay this one is about deflection modulated crt and another second one we can consider that a intensity modulated intensity modulated crt so various display devices we say and that display devices consist of a crt two types here deflection one so in which that deflection modulated crt and that is nothing but a, a, a scope there are various types of it is placed here in a radar a scope b scope c scope likewise so we we'll list out those display devices later now here for this def deflection modulated crt a target will be indicated indicated by the deflection of the electron beam here so that's why it is called as a deflection modulated crt in the case of a intensity modulated here the target is indicated indicated by the intensity okay intensifying the electron beam here and then it will present a luminous spot okay so just like you can say that in a display devices just like it will different okay so it will display like a spot here okay dot here intensity spot okay and the crt here so means target is present so likewise so we have the two types of a display here both are electronically modulated displays and they are just displaying the target information in terms of intensity so that's why we can say that intensity modulated display devices are called as a ppi okay or it will just display a spot on a screen or if that uh, display device again the audio information if suppose this spot is detected by the detector then beep will come out from the display device okay it has a sound so we can say that whether the target is present or not that will be displayed by the a display devices there so there are various kinds of a display devices a scope okay then a b scope then c scope and d scope okay so likewise the various types of a display devices are there so mostly people are using old days people are using for the display a, a scope there and that a scope is nothing but a deflection modulated display devices so it will just display the information of the target in terms of the horizontal coordinate system or a vertical coordinate system likewise we have the vertical as well as horizontal coordinate system the vertical deflection or a horizontal deflection there in terms of a, a coordinate in terms of a range there. so then we have a, a b scope there 
it is just like a intensity modulated display devices and it display the azimuth angle and that azimuth angle is indicated by the horizontal coordinate and a range by the vertical coordinate okay so in a scope it will display the range only but b scope it will display a angle as well as the range okay then a c scope c scope it will display the azimuth angle okay here it will be useful for displaying the range this one it will be useful for the displaying the azimuth angle azimuth angle as well as the a range here. then a c scope so c scope it is again a intensity modulated rectangular display devices it will use or it will display a azimuth as well as the elevation angle okay now here no range okay so now these are nothing but the display okay so that a d scope it is nothing but a similar to the c scope there okay so it just like display the whatever the distance of the given object as well as with elevation as well as the what will be the dis distance there so then e scope f scope g scope so various display devices are so people are using a scope b scope and c scope there and then and nowadays people are using a display devices is called as a ppi one so ppi is nothing but what a plan position indicator okay this one is a mostly used nowadays okay so they are about a ppi here and this ppi is nothing but what a p scope so sometimes someone saying a p scope again for this display devices so it just display the intensity modulated circular display okay this one is about a circular display there so we are able to detect the echo signal and that will be seen on the circular display devices there okay so means we can say that whatever the objects are present that will be present on the display devices with in terms of a, a range or all okay so likewise we, we are just if you see that looking for this likewise so we are just able to see hey coordinate system according to that we can find out what will be the range what will be the azimuth as well as the elevation angle there okay so this one it will be useful to display the a range so mostly we are interested in a azimuth because a device is vertical one uh, display okay it is a motion so we can find out that a azimuth as well as the elevation there so there are the various types of a ppi display we can say that a offset ppi then a delayed ppi okay so that are useful for displaying the or that that is nothing but a base of a ppi okay delayed one okay so likewise so these are the a display devices mostly used in a radar receiver there and then a display devices may be a color may be a black and white there and that uh, it will uh, display the intensity Okay, or it will display uh, some particular spot on the display devices and for this and that spot is nothing but it or a signal now the next topic of a radar receiver we will conclude here we will consider that is about a, a duplexer okay so mostly people are using this duplexer at the input a or a front end of the mixer okay so in between the transmitter and receiver that uh, duplexer is to be used so because we are using a single antenna this one is about a single antenna and the single antenna if we have a duplexer here and that duplexer that will be useful for the transmitter 
so it will separate out or it will be off when it will be a transmitting the signal okay likewise so receiver is nothing but what a mixer this component is nothing but what we have a mixer there then a lo local oscillator then a if okay so likewise this one is the part of a receiver okay so like so we can see that at a type of a transmission okay this one so deflector at a time of a transmission deflector device or deflector component will not allow to pass the signal to the receiver otherwise what will happen <laughs> receiver will damage so at the transmission only signal will go toward the antenna then it will be a transmitted at the time of a transmit so no signal present here at the receiver but at the receiver or at the time of reception signal will reach to the receiver deflector no signal at a transmitter but signal will available at the receiver okay now this one is a role of a deflector so it will avoid transmit the signal from the transmitter to the receiver or it will whatever the echo signal received from the target that will not allow to pass to the transmitter then. okay it's just like a switch or it's just like a junction or we can say that it it is just like a channel for the transmitter as well as a receiver there so now how this duplexer work so duplexer there are a specific component so maybe we can use a solid state devices or we can use a gas charge devices and that will play a role of a duplexer there so what type of a display devices okay what type of a components people are using or earlier days people are using a gas charge device or one particular tube okay at that gas charge devices they are just at a time of transmitting the switches that will be open receiver com receiver side component will be open and then it will be short circuited and it will be transmitted at the time of receiving so it will open the transmitter junction only the signal will pass to the receiver there so within a particular period of a time okay so signal at a time signal when signal is transmitted so receiver is isolated when signal is received received transmitter is isolated okay because a transmitter power is very very high so because of that high power transmit the signal so receiver may damage so that's why to avoid it so duplexer is used okay so to damage the given particular part. so in general what happens your signal will be transmitted so it is just like one particular pulse okay so we can say that it is just like one particular pulse signal transmit and then another pulse like so on and off period so this one is about a time or a period okay so when we transmit the signal okay so then that case there may be the difference so we can use another way switch on and switch off of the device when it is transmitting at that time this receiver is to be off within this particular period of a time a receiver is to be on okay so like so this way we can use if we are not a, we are not able to use the duplexer or we doesn't have a duplexer we can use this one at the time of a transmitter okay or may we need to switch off the receiver at the time of a receiver we need to switch off the transmitter okay so likewise so transmitter and receiver one by one alternately one and then we can transmit the signal there and uh, in older method so people are using a balance balance type of a duplexer so in which they are using a transmit receive switch and the transmit receive switch depends upon the a gas discharge there so how it will switch or this transmitting and a receiving there so we will see that a balance duplexer here balance type duplexer
so in the balance type duplexer we have a single antenna we are using you can see that the transmitter then after that transmitter so we have the antenna this one is about you can see that antenna here this one is about your antenna now we suppose to provide the signal to the antenna here okay so this one is about your antenna then we need to use a transmit receive switch as well as the anti transmit receive switch so this one is about ATR anti transmit receive switch then we need to place a another one about a transmit receive switch okay then here we can say that in between that the transmit receive switch there will be the this difference of a lambda by 4 okay where we are placing the anti transmit receive switch in between that still with the spacing of a lambda by 4 and then from this to this again there will be the lambda by 4 length okay so we can say that length will be lambda by 4 like say that this one will be the lambda by 4 okay so now from this transmission line lambda by 4 distance here so this balance type duplexer it consists of what a transmit receive switch as well as a anti transmit receive switch and these both are this both switch they are consist of a gas discharge tube okay instead of the solid state devices they are just like a gas discharge tubes so at the time of a transmitter okay transmitting the signal when we can say that a transmitter is on here we have a two, two tubes one is the transmitter tr and the atr so both are ionized here okay and then what happened so in that case a transmitter receive which is in a fire condition and they appears as the short circuit for the receiver okay so means we can have a receiver here so one we have at the time of transmitting this is a transmitting transmit receive switch when signal is pied okay here we have the tube it has a ionization takes place here when tube ionizes they break down or you can say that it will fire and then at it when the tr fired so what will happen that tr will be act as a short circuit for the receiver so that it will not allow the transmitted power to the receiver this one will be a short circuit here so it will be a short tube so receiver means no power transmitted power will be entered in a receiver here so this one why because we can say that a transmit receiver switch is located what we can consider here the distance of a from the main transmission line will be lambda by 4 similarly here this one division between these two is nothing but the lambda by 4 but at the time of receiving okay so we can say that this will be on here this will be open at the time of receiving this will be a short circuit in here so during the reception we can say that we are not using a transmitter so transmitter is off here okay so in that case so we can say that it will open circuit atr here okay and it appears a short circuit across this particular line so no power will be 
transmitted to the a transmitter. So there may be the, the various types of the connections we can use. And here, the ATR and ATR, it, are, it consists of a gas discharge devices and the ionizers according to a transmitter and reception function. When we are receiving, this will be open to the receiver. This will be make a short circuit to the transmitter. So is your signal will not be transmitted here, open, okay? So you can say that a short circuit located at this particular receiver pad, okay, for the transmitter at the time of transmit at a to receiver, at the time of receiver to the transmitter. So likewise, so only at the time either transmitter or a receiver is to be used there. And this has the limitations in terms of what a bandwidth as well as the power handling capability of a transmitter and a receiver there. So that's why instead of using this balance types of a deflexor, okay, it is using a ATR and TR. So we can use a another type of a devices. So in which there will be a hybrid junctions to be used. So hybrid junctions means what? We can use either a magic T or we can use a coupler and then through that we can use or we can use a transmitter as a receiver there. So balance deflexor we can consider another example for the balance deflexor there. So in which balance deflexor we are using a dual TR tube. Okay. So in this balance deflexor we are using a balance duplexer. Now in this case what happened? So we are using a junction, okay, hybrid junction, short hybrid junction. So, so we can consider earlier case we have considered that a waveguide so similarly, we consider the waveguide here. This one is about your waveguide. So we can say that a transmitter this one end, we can say that a transmitting the signal here. And then this one here we have the junction. We have the receiver. Okay. This one is about your receiver and then this one is about your main waveguide okay this one is about your main waveguide and then for this given particular waveguide there is a, a slot here various slot a short slot just like uh, we have seen earlier for this Okay, likewise, we just consider right now there is a short slot hybrid junction. So we can consider this one very short. So, means when we are transmitting the signal, we can say that at the time of a transmitting, the signal will be propagating toward the antenna here so this one is we have a antenna and this one is about a dummy load or we can say that we can use a match load also okay so we can say that so at the time of a receiving okay so we can say that when we are transmitting the signal the signal will be transmitted likewise so it will not allow to pass here we have again another slot so signal will be transmitted here Okay, so here is again we have a slot here. This one. Okay, so we can say that a signal will be transmitted. So this one is a slot. So through this slot, your signal will be transmitted. Okay, so we can say that this will be transmitted here at the time of a transmitting action. So signal will be transmitted likewise. This one is the match load. So no signal will be reached at the receiver there. So signal will be transmitted to the antenna okay this is about a, a transmitting action then at the time of receiving so what happened here the signal 
come from the antenna this one here we have a slot so it will be available through this slot here we have the junction so your signal will be available at the receiver so no signal will be reached to the uh, transmitter so this one is about a balance type duplexer junction and it has the a dual tubes here so these are about the dual tubes which has a, a slot here so only it, uh, it will transmit to the antenna it will receive through the antenna to the receiver here but this dummy load is nothing but a match load okay so it will not allow okay this dummy load match load so all uh, power will be absorbed so only at the time of the transmitting signal will be transmitted to the antenna at the receiver signal will be transmitted to the receiver from the antenna so isolated transmitters and receiver sections both are isolated at the receiver reception as well as the for the transmitter respectively so with this we stop here and uh, we continue in this section so thank you all